celebrity crush is definitely Governor Rick Perry. <laughs> He's so attractive. Don't air this, okay? Or maybe you could and he would like want to meet me. Hi, my name is Maddie Warren. I'm 17 years old and I have a passion for the outdoors, guns, the second amendment, and anything that involves my family. Me and my dad and my brother and my mom have the best relationship, I think, and it's not because we eat dinner together, it's not because we go to church, it's because we've been in the outdoors and we go hunting. This is the first time Maddie and I have actually gotten to go hunting, deer hunting together, and uh, it's awesome. It's, it's, uh, it's a nice trophy. <laughs> you just learn a lot when you're outside, and that's just molded us into who we are. Oh my goodness, that's all I can say. I'm so honored to be able to come to a great place like this with great people. I want to be a lobbyist when I'm older, and I'm going about that kind of by exercising my Second Amendment and First Amendment rights, and watching my dad in the political atmosphere for hunting made me want to get involved in a bigger atmosphere. He always told me, you're supposed to find your one thing and stick with it, like you can't have all these different stances. And for me, the thing I'm most passionate about is the Second Amendment, so I think with my talents and my abilities, I should protect the Second Amendment for the rest of my life. It's the amendment that's going to protect everything else when all else fails. When the police aren't there to protect you, you're going to be able to have a firearm to protect your family and your home and your belongings. Also, the Second Amendment protects shooting activities, and shooting activities really bring people together. I've seen a lot of families just go out, and hunting is what keeps them together and made their relationships strong. I was only 12 years old the first time I went to go speak at the legislature. There was a bill that had been through, I think, like three or four times, and my dad had gone and spoke every time, and the bill didn't get passed. And I knew he was so frustrated. And for me, I always want to make my parents happy. And I think the first thing was realizing, hey, my dad's been working really hard on this, and I want to help him. So I said, well, can I go with you? Today, y'all can do something exceptional for Texas. Y'all can vote to legalize the crossbow. Just think of the positive impact it will have on everything. I appreciate this opportunity to talk to y'all, and like my parents say, go do something exceptional. So I, originally it started out as wanting to make my brother and my dad happy and help them, and then it turned into realizing I was helping a whole lot of other people, and I want to do that now. People definitely have the perspective of, oh, the NRA lobbyists are bullies, the NRA is full of bullies, just because they don't know, they're uninformed, and it's sad because they didn't grow up like I did. They didn't grow up with a family who hunts and wants their kids to be involved in that kind of stuff. You either think it's all the rich white people or the crazy rednecks, and then when you go to something as simple as a convention, you see it's some of the best Americans because they have value and they have morals and they care about the people around them. It's not just about themselves, it's about everyone. Becoming an advocate for the NRA, it's, it's not that hard. You probably think, oh, you have to be a professional shooter, you have to have a lot of money or something like that. It's as simple as going on the website and looking up on the NRA ILA. They have all the different bills in different states that are supporting the Second Amendment or aren't. You can call your local NRA members on the website. It says Friends of the NRA and they have contacts in every state. And that's what I did. Um, I called them and had some people come out to our ranch and those instructors helped us teach kids how to shoot. And it's really simple. They, they make it really easy to become involved. I think I'm gonna end up at A&M and studying political science, and then maybe go to law school. I think college is really gonna help me prepare for being a lobbyist because I'm gonna be challenged by people all the time, my teachers, my peers, anyone, because they're gonna have different opinions than me, especially on the Second Amendment. Their minds aren't gonna change if we're just fighting. We need to get along and just kinda of understand each other and open up. I'm definitely not the most awesome teenager because I'm just a normal kid. I love guns, I love the Second Amendment, and they're my passion. And that's what's cool, everyone has their own passion, they can do their own thing, and the Second Amendment is mine.